Hey YouTube, today we're going to be working on this uh, damage to this uh, recreational vehicle. Uh, I was told it was not the owner of the RV's fault, that the coach was actually parked, that it was a backhoe operator that uh, swung the bucket around and accidentally hit the coach. Either way, we're going to fix it. Um, the panel on the left uh, is a fiberglass panel and the panel on the right is actually a door and it's uh, it's uh, clad with aluminum so that's the challenge we have here um, show various views of it and there's also uh, chrome trim along the bottom and uh, we are going to replace the uh, two chrome trim pieces we were able to source those from the uh, RV manufacturer and uh, the hinges are accessible so we're able to take that door off the left panel would be very difficult to take off so we're gonna straighten the brackets out while it's on in place and do a fiberglass repair on that panel we sourced the paint from BASF, which is the original OEM paint for this coach. And uh, it was $200 a gallon, but it, you know, it's the only way to really match this metallic paint. And uh, we got the um, copper color paint. We did not get the black color. We felt that the clear coat would uh, suffice for that. So we have a picture of the uh, locking mechanism that had to be removed. So we took the door off and then we removed the lock mechanism from the door. And there's a photo of the hinge. The bent metal underneath. So we decided uh, that we couldn't take the whole panel off. It was glued on and uh, would have been a very difficult job. So we're, we cut out the damaged area and we're gonna put a patch panel in. Originally we were gonna get it welded in, but the uh, guy at the weld shop said that he would uh, do an overlap joint and that wouldn't look good from the side. So we decided to uh, glue in using a um, 3M panel bond adhesive, which is smells and works just like JB Weld. I, I know it's going to be strong. So we're going to cut out this damaged area. Different views of it here. And there we are fitting in a piece of uh, aluminum patch panel with a protective coat and still on it, that blue plastic, and uh, glue that right in there with uh, a lot of the JB Weld type glue that you see here. And there it is after it's glued in. And then we sand the surface down of the uh, all the damaged area. And we put a thin layer of uh, Bondo fiberglass, both for uh, strength and the waterproof abilities of that product. And there it is, sand it down. And we put a thin layer of Bondo, very thin layer, just to get it smoothed out. And there it is, sanded out with a number 40 sandpaper and a 17 inch flat hand sander. And we put a coat of primer on it, <clears throat> just to see what we've got. And then I put a coat of glazing putty over that to get all the sand and scratches out. Sanded that down. Another coat of primer and a final coat of primer. And you can see because we bonded it instead of welding it that we've got a really nice clean edge 
from the side view. You can't even tell it was ever repaired. So we put the uh, door mechanism back together. And now we repaired the uh, fiberglass panel. The, just, you know, with the same fiberglass technique. And here's the black above it. It is cracked, but the uh, we felt that the, you know sanding that down with a 600 and an 800, and then putting a clear coat over top would be suffice. Would you know work be sufficient? And here are both panels back on, and uh, well the doors mounted back on. The other panel is uh, repaired and we glue on the uh, bottom chrome trim piece before we paint it everything looks nice and straight and then we spray the color and the clear coat on so it's as if it never even happened. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.